might just end up crushing but I'm ready if it happens with you. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a time management tips work smarter not harder video. So this can go to anyone in middle school, high school, or college. I really struggled with time management, or I still do really, um, but I've definitely gotten a little bit better at it as I've gotten older, but it's still something I have to work on, so I'm not perfect at this, but these are just some of the things that I try to do or try to follow to help myself stay on track with everything I need to get done. I definitely have a lot of like goals and ambitions, and I'm very like unrealistic about what I can get done in a day, but I think that these are just some helpful tips and tricks for all you students going back to school. Time management is such an important skill in life to balance work and play is not the easiest thing so if you're good at it leave a comment down below with some of your tips because I would love to know um, and also leave a comment down below with any other back to school videos you want to see from me because I would love to do any of them that you want to see I'm gonna do a what's in my backpack for sure and I've already done like a school supplies haul a dorm haul um, and other stuff so definitely go watch that if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss a video from me but yeah without further ado let's get started with the tips number one is just learn to say no don't overcommit yourself because spreading yourself too thin is a big thing when it comes to time management if you said yes to everyone who came up to you, you wouldn't have time to do the things you actually need to do and while you may want to do the things people invite you to do sometimes you just don't have time and you need to realize that and learn to say no I feel like in college especially all the time people are saying hey do you want to go to the dining hall hey do you want to go to the gym hey can you drive me to class hey let's um, go get food let's go out let's go do this or that or go to this meeting or join my club or let's go to this luncheon or this dinner or literally there's always stuff to do so you just have to learn to say no and prioritize what's important to you so that's my next tip is prioritize so you need to figure out what the most important things are in your life and make a list so my health my happiness my success I know a lot of people base it like school family friends but I like to base it on bigger things like health success and happiness are kind of the things that I always try to center around so in health comes with mental health so exercise um, eating well um, having time to decompress like having my me time at the end of the day within happiness is friends doing stuff with friends socializing going out to eat is part of happiness but like eating healthy is part of health so you kind of have to balance those two going to a movie doing stuff for pleasure like that's all happiness hanging out with your family and then success is school and your job so um, I mean within these like little tiers you can prioritize what's most important there too but I like to do it like that because you know like why am I doing this I'm doing it for success I'm not just doing it to get my degree I'm doing it so I can be a successful uh, woman like in the future or whatever you want to do I know a lot of you all are in high school still or even in college like you're doing this to be educated and to be successful and people will think that health is a priority over success which I agree with I think that you should have time to exercise in the day if you make it a priority you can fit it in um, but if happiness is more important to you than health if you're here for a good time not a long time then go eat out with your friends go hang out with them and balance that with school more another thing for time management is don't multitask if you have a lot of things on your plate just start knocking them off do one at a time don't try to do three of them at a time I'm gonna write my draft for this paper while I listen to a podcast that I've missed out on or while I listen to a book on tape that I need to read do one thing at a time and you'll be much more successful at each little task and it won't take as long I know that sometimes I think I can like I'll be listening to music and trying to do homework or something and I like can't even focus I'm like singing the lyrics so next thing if you're blocking out time to study instead of just writing like study three hours like in my planner I'll come up with like more manageable little tasks for um, like the days that I want to study so I'm like gonna make flashcards and a study guide this day I'm gonna memorize this this day and I'm gonna read back over the chapters this day I'm gonna make outlines like whatever you're doing like put those tasks on the days you're going to do them instead of just writing study like that's not going to be as productive and making things into small manageable tasks is going to make them go a lot faster and you get them done and you'll feel like you're getting a lot more done because you'll be able to check all these little tasks off it's not going to be like ugh, I feel like I have this big beast ahead of me and I don't even know where to start it's like okay well we're gonna break this down we're gonna do flashcards right now and then we're gonna memorize these and then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna do outlines and then we're gonna turn the outline into a study guide and then we're gonna take a break like just come up with a plan and time management is a lot easier another thing with time management is just being organized because you don't want to have to waste time looking for things 
that you shouldn't have to be looking for because if you're organized you're not gonna have to spend that time searching you can just grab it and go be organized and keep your room and your space and your backpack and your bag and your drawers just keep it organized and clean maintain it don't get lazy with it and your life's gonna be so much easier another tip is to utilize your weekends now I know that the week can be like the work week and it's like blah stressful like whether you're working or you're in college or you're in high school or middle school on the weekends you just want to lay back and watch Netflix and hang out with your friends and whatever all that and like I totally get that trust me but in high school I really had to use my weekends that's how I did as well as I did I think in high school is because I took time on Sundays and I just did so much homework like I did homework like for the week or caught up on homework from the week before I'd work ahead on papers I'd start studying for things I would just do like so much on Sundays and just really get myself ahead I'd learn vocab words for the week I don't know if you all have those like I did junior year I had vocab words every week I'd learn those all on Sunday so then I didn't have to stress about that like Tuesday night before my quiz on Wednesday utilize your weekend like I know it's like I just want to have like a chill day and that's what Saturday can be like have a day off let Saturday be your fun day where you shop or go out to eat or hang out with your friends or like just do something fun, go see a movie, like who knows, whatever. Have Saturday be your fun, adventurous day. But then on Sunday, I would get back to the grind. If you utilize your weekends, your weeks are gonna go so much smoother. Also have a planner. I love planners. That's one way I stay on top of everything and stay managing my life um, is just to write everything down in my planner. I have a physical planner and then I also have my Google Calendar. I'm obsessed with Google Calendar if you want to see like a whole video about like my planner and my Google Calendar like I can. I've talked about it before though but I love Google Calendar. I understand that everyone's different. Um, but these are just some tips that help for me. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Like I said, any tips you have um, as well as any back to school videos you want to see. I think that's it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I would love to have you follow me. I'm just at Lottie Smalley. Hope you all will follow me if you want to keep up with my life outside of YouTube. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Good chance, holding nothing back. Why it's all last day?